person, <laughs> Faff or Faffy. Father Simon, before I start, I hope that some of your listeners will remember what times were like back in the 80s. The 1980s is before the internet and before mobile phones, okay? It's taken me over 40 years to own up to the deception I undertook and never wow. told my then six-year-old neighbor's child. The lady used to live across the road we will call Jean. It's not her name. Her son we will call Robert. I doubt to this day she will have confessed to her son about this terrible double deception. Although, for various reasons, we're making it a single deception. <laughs> oh, really? yes, 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 we are. It's just a single deception. Just a single deception. Not double Should deception. Oh, no, yeah, just not, make, not, wow. Just not, change not that. double deception. Already had the lawyers just, in. Just Confess one. to her son about this one-off deception. <laughs> one-off deception. I used to babysit Robert on a regular basis from the age of 18 months. And also when Gene got a part-time job, he would come over to my house three days a week. We bonded from day one as Robert loved my crazy house of one huge Great Dane dog and 13 cats. That's right. 13? 13 cats. 13. It all came about because I helped out a couple of days a week at the local vets. There you go. So that makes, that makes sense. Does it? Yeah, I think so. <laughs> I'll help out. I'll take you home. Thank you very much. When Robert got to primary school age, he decided he wanted a pet of his own. So his mother and I thought it best to start the infant child off with a hamster. We all went to the pet shop 15 miles away, 15 miles away in the nearest town to choose one. After one minute, he decided on a blonde one with a dark brown patch on its head and named it Smudge. Robert adored Smudge and kept him very well, cleaning his cage, he was in his bedroom, feeding him all the time, letting him run loose, and often on a sunny, on a sunny day, Smudge would be taken into the garden in his cage because of my many cats. The love went on for the next two years until one fateful day. A loud knock on my door at 9.30 and a hysterical Jean made me rush to let her in, fearing for Robert. But red-eyed with tears, Jean was shaking she handed me a very limp smudge. Unfortunately, the hamster had passed on, as hamsters do. I tried to resuscitate him, despite my attempts at mouth-to-mouth. -mouth. <laughs> Dear. Wow. Oh, Can you no. actually even do that? Um, no, I'm going to say no. I mean, you know, I'm not a vet. Anyway, he had... <laughs> no? <laughs> just, uh, probably just check with the vet before you try yeah, this. No, he just, had just, sadly, just He had sadly passed away. Uh, shaking from head to toe, she said, Robert's never going to forgive me. He'll never speak to me again. He will say it was my fault somehow. Knowing that he would come home from school later that day, I suggested that we replace the poor hamster with another, thinking we might rectify this disastrous situation. I didn't realize what a task this would be, because we are talking the 1980s. No internet, no mobile phones. Telephone in hand and having lovingly buried smudge in the field behind me, I started through the yellow pages, you know, the way they liked to, they used <laughs> yeah. to do back in the mm. day, working my way through the pet shop listings. Two hours later and very stressed, I realized how rare smudge's coloring was, and of course he wasn't a baby hamster, uh, he was full size. I'd alerted my dear friend at the local vets to the emergency situation. She detailed her receptionist into calling shops from outside her area. Finally, someone had a blonde, older hamster with a good sense of humour, which had been returned. In or of all places, a town very near us. In fact, well, it wasn't so near. It turned out it was two hours away. Wow. Yeah. So we left immediately. No sat nav, remember? Jean had the map and magnifying glass. <laughs> I had my trusty Datsun estate with the Great Dane, who was backseat driving. And he actually did look left and right at junctions alongside me. This is a whole other story. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Uh, and in the back was Smudge's empty cage. Uh, one hour and 45 minutes later, having driven rather fast on the motorway and country lanes, but still keeping within the yep, law good. at all times, yep, 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 yep. money was exchanged and the new hamster was being winged back to the outskirts of Southampton. Suddenly, Jean cried, but there's no smudge on its head! <laughs> Thinking out of the box and in panic mode to get there before Robert, my answer was, there soon will be, but you're going to have to top it up regularly and secretly, <laughs> because the saviour was in my handbag. Dark brown, waterproof body shop, cruelty-free and safe on pets <laughs> mascara. Safe on mascara pets. was the answer. <laughs> Smudged gently onto the Smudge's number two's okay. head. Robert arrived at home just as we pulled into the drive. I lied, saying Smudge had gone for his checkup. 
When asked why Smudge was in my car, Smudge 2 lived on for another three years. The deception has continued as neither G nor I ever confessed to Robert, even when he grew to be a young man. The cruelty-free mascara, fair to pets, was renewed regularly by Gene, and I hope that we can be forgiven for lying to the six-year-old Robert and driving very fast but always within the legal limits yes, to yes. the pet shop near Guildford <laughs> and back to collect what was a tiny imposter. Uh, thank you and hoping that we get some forgiveness. Uh, that's Faf also known as Faffy. Uh, Sister Susie and the voice of responsibility from the pub. Well, Faff, like, I, 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 I get why you did it, because you didn't want to upset a poor child, because, you know, and it happens. I, I probably had many goldfish re replaced when I was a child and didn't even ask why they were different in size, because my dad wasn't that clever. However, I just... It's just too much of a ruse. You kept it up for ages. It was just a bit mean. So I can't forgive you, I'm afraid. Brother Matthew oh. from the gutter. Um, well, I've, I've always... I mean, do kids ever buy that this is the same hamster stroke rabbit stroke goldfish whatever they have I'm, personalities. I'm i'm gonna say that most kids go i know what's going on here uh the other one's gone down the loo and so i'm just gonna and then they bought me another one i'm gonna play along uh because you know uh i've, I've still got a pet um so i'm gonna say nobody nobody misses out apart from obviously the hamster who died and it, you know it's sort of teaching children that uh death comes to us all so uh for that reason <laughs> i am i am going to forgive